Hi, welcome to the Speakeasy. I'm Zach. And I'm Jake. We are the Dirt Road Men. Hell yeah, we are. Today we're here reviewing Jim Beam Devil's Cut. I forgot I had a dirt bottle around. It's alright, it's a nice label. It is. It's a little wet at the top. What'd you do? Spill it everywhere? Mm -mm. Can't, can't keep it in the bottle, man. I was trying slobber to, all over it. I was trying to suck the whiskey out through the cap. Oh. Is your, is your hat still on camera? I don't think it's on camera. No, it's not. No, it is. Oh, okay. I was going to put it on Steve. It just covers Steve up. No, oh, you got you to gotta oh, do oh, it right. Oh, 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 Steve, you... S Steve, where'd you go? You suck. Move the whiskey. <laughs> Steve. <laughs> Can you do this? You got it? Steve's got it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, Devil's Cut. What's different about Devil's Cut? different about it besides the holy freaking wood note <laughs> I feel like I'm okay. chewing on this ashtray well the the devil's cut kind of plays off of uh, familiar with angel share yes D during the uh, during the aging process some of the alcohol will kind of eva well, will evaporate and kind of escape the barrel <laughs> and that's the angel share well the devil's cut is also while it's aging the the Whiskey inside the barrel will go into the wood and it, it kind of breathes in and out. Well, after they empty the contents of the barrel, there's still some swelled up inside the wood. And Jim Beam decided that they were going to take their Jim Beam Black, which is a six year aged Jim Beam. And. Oh, I forgot you told me this is black. Yeah. So this is like black plus one one giant piece of wood. Yeah. Um, so they empty out their barrels and then they take the barrels and they one way or another they agitate the ever-loving crap out of them to get all the the whiskey out of the barrels like give me back my whiskey! <laughs> How was that again? <laughs> give me back my whiskey! <laughs> Trying to take it back from the angels. <laughs> Sorry, Momo texted no, me. No, the, the whiskey that's trapped inside the barrel is the devil's cut. Ah. Taking it back from the devil. Okay. So so the angels get a share, and then the devil keeps it in, in the wood. Yes. Where it's just out of reach. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he, 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 he keeps it in the, uh, the the brimstone, if you would, the charred. Ah. So, so, like, really, to get this whiskey, you have to go through, like, a deep philosophical battle. Yes. That's pretty epic. That's about as epic as it gets. And <laughs> so they, they, they take this newly extracted devil's, the devil's cut and they let it just kind of sit and mellow and all the different flavors that just got shook around and beat out. Kind of let it mellow and then they add it back to the uh, six-year-old whiskey. And you definitely get a lot of the wood because of what was sitting inside actually like soaked up into the wood for six years yeah yeah it's uh it, it there you better like wood notes in whiskey this tastes like if I uh if I were like Okay, to create this same sensation in my senses, right? It'd be like drinking a bourbon in the middle of a wood shop right after I had, like, just sawed up and completely made a table. Minus yeah. finish. This definitely reminds me of freshman year of high school. Yeah. <laughs> Sanding next to Carlos for four hours of a day. Well, he'd, he sand, he'd sand for the one hour a day we were in class for, like, a month or two. Because mm -hmm. our, our instructor said there was no way you could sand too much. And he proved him wrong. He sanded that table so much, it w wouldn't take finish. Yeah, they they went to, <laughs> they, they tried to spray polyurethane on it, and it just beat it off and just ran off the table. <laughs> you can sand something too much. And he didn't change out his sandpaper. He started with 220 grit. And just wore it down. Wore it down and... Basically just the paper part, 
and just polished it. Like at that point, I don't think he needed finish. <laughs> Not really. It looked pretty nice as it was. Oh, that was nice. Just a little bit just running down the glass. Inside. Yeah, it's definitely got legs. Oh. The the finish is kind of quick. It's uh. Mm. So the finish kind of you get it, and it comes up, and it's almost. I'm gonna get a little. A little poetic here. It's like a, a rider coming up over a hill, just like barreling through at a sprint like a cavalry rider coming up over the top of the hill, and you're you're at the peak of the hill. And that's how long you've got the finish. Is like the moment you can see the rider to the moment he blows past you. Just gone. And it's all the bourbon flavors, but they come up strong, and they hit you, and then they're just... Psh, they bolt out. See, mine's kind of lingering a little bit. Really? Yeah. See, mine's mine's gone within like three seconds. I can still kind of taste a little bit of the uh, a lot of the wood. Well, there's like, a, like, like, a, like 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 caramelized um, vanilla and wood, like yeah. a vanilla mixed with some caramel on a toothpick. Chewing on that. It's pretty good. This used to Maybe. be my Go my on. absolute number one favorite whiskey in the world. And then? Um, I turned 21. We have a lot of 21st birthdays, if you notice. No, it was actually my 20th birthday, and it was amazing. Um, he bought me a bottle of it. My brother bought me a bottle of it. It and was then, brand new that year, so everybody got it for him. Uh, it was a year old. It was a year old? It came out in 2011. So it might have been uh, your first birthday after it came out. Yeah. Or something. Well, I guess it could have still been, you know, brand new that, you know, that for a year. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it didn't, like, come All out. All right, anyway. Day. Semantics. Yeah. So, um, I killed one bottle by myself. And shared the other bottle. Shared it, because I still had more of it. And then... We drank... Two 30-packs of Coors Light. No, two 24-packs of bottles. Because yeah, yeah, they were like, bottles. They were like cans that much. Yep. Son of a... What are you doing? Okay, we're sitting down at the bar, and I, I gotta move my legs around. Well, sit further back. Lean forward, man. I don't like to lean that much. It'll be I easy. lean enough. <laughs> a, little, a little to the left. A lot to the left. Uh, well, yeah, it was a very, it was a wonderful, wonderful night. Hor horrible, horrible morning. Is that the day you were laying on your couch with shades on and uh, your, your sister Megan came in and turned on the light and you like yelled at her? Yeah. Well, well, she came in because I tech I saw her walk by, so I texted her. I'm like, hey, can you bring me my Gatorade? She she opens up my door and goes, it's right next to you. And she clicks on the light and hands it to me. I'm like, ah! <laughs> so you're sitting in the dark with shades on. Yeah. <laughs> and I... <laughs> um, actually, no, that wasn't the same day. Mm. Okay. Well, whatever. No, because still that, that had I passed out on Matt's kitchen table. Oh, okay. And you and got early twenties were quite the adventure for us. We don't even like getting drunk anymore. No, like a light buzz. You can just kind of maintain that for about an hour and then just mellow out of it. Yeah, it's nice. Yep, it's all right. The trick is when you hit that light buzz, and then for whatever reason you just keep trucking, and then all of a sudden you, you just hate everything. Yeah. All of a sudden it's the next morning and. Somebody's got a jackhammer on your temple. Your buddy who was just back from England for a day is like passed out in your kitchen sink. <laughs> you don't even know where your feet are at. <laughs> Will you teach me to football? <laughs> I took some water so I can take like a fresh crack at this again. So on the nose, the caramel note is like super heavy. It's like a really accented version of regular bourbon notes, and it, it does, now that you say it, remind me of black. Essentially, if you haven't had this and you want to know what it tastes like, if you've had Jim Beam Black, 
picture straining that by pouring it out onto like a 2x4 and then into your glass. That's probably about the flavor you would end up with. Don't dust that 2x4 off. Just keep it. No, even better. Send that 2x4 through a uh, like big sander, like a white belt uh -huh. sander, until there's nothing left. And then get some, get some, uh, some of that sawdust, pack your glass about half full, and then top it off mm -hmm. with the uh, black, black, and then drain it out. That's what you got. You it's go. it's great though. I love it, it. It's really good. I really you just have love to like wood. the wood note. <laughs> You're great with wood, are you? Oh yeah. Like the other day when you told me you really know your way around meat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Check out our page if you want a great recipe for a uh, uh, medium rare steak on the stove. At least I think it's great, but I might be biased. <laughs> no, it turned out just it, perfect. All right, I think we've we've beat this horse enough. Good uh, to go. Anything else to add? Nope. Anything you want to know about Jim Beam? We talked about in our our first video with it. There's a legacy, and this is the Devil's Cut. And it's great. It's it's phenomenal. I think it might be my favorite Jim Beam that I've had so far. It might be mine. God, I'll hate. just be happy to see you drinking it again. We need stools with wheels. I don't like how I can't see the top of my head. Can they yeah, see the top well, of my head? He's, he, no, they can't. They can see exactly what you can see. Okay. So set, set the camera up for us sitting down. So now you can't stand up. If we're going to sit down, we need to go back out to the office. Yeah, I agree. We'll zoom it out for the next video. Are you good now? I guess. All right. I'm getting there. Till we see you again, I'm Zach. And I'm Jake. And we are the Dirt Road Men. If you like this video, uh, hit the subscribe button, the notification bell, drop us a comment, and check out our uh, Facebook page for daily updates.